And I think for me, I love running a company. I love the industry we're in. I think there's a lot of great things to be done still in this industry. And I think we have a lot of tailwinds to chase. So I'd love to keep doing what I'm doing and do it in a meaningful way. And my dream is that Canopy is used not only to operate buildings to help finance them. I know it's crazy, but if we have all your metrics, every single one, and we can tell you exactly how you're doing and we can predict it, why can't I give you a underwritten interest rate on that? Why can't I do a fund of funds and allocate money to who I think are the best operators, right? Hmm. And I think that there's some like crazy stuff you can do if you have the power of the data And people are just like, oh, I'm going to sell this software app and it's going to do all this cool stuff. I'm like, yes, I'm going to do all that. But man, I want to bring like real estate is a capital business. And if you're not intertwined with the capital in one way or another, like I think you're missing the bigger picture. And so brokers like you guys meet the biggest capital allocators and they are working with even bigger capital allocators and like you're part of the action. Right. And I think being part of the action is part of being real estate. So that's just my two cents. Mm -hmm. So last question, aside from how do people get in touch with you, how do you, given that you want to run this the rest of your life, and honestly, I feel like you're capable of of doing that unless somebody puts billions of dollars in front of you. And even then, maybe you'll say no thanks, but how do you plan to stay ahead of the rapidly changing landscape? I think some other really practical advice I've given, and it's always hard to follow, is you focus on your own company, right? Like you're always going to have competitors. 